Welcome into Hit Sticks on DallasCowboys.com alongside Barry Church and Isaiah Stanback. I'm Kyle Yeomans, where today we use Madden to break down the cover three against the pass. It's a huge weakness again of the cover three, and basically you have to say, may the force be with you. Let's break it down here on Hit Sticks. Let's take it to the big board. Of course, here on this edition of Hit Sticks, we're going to talk about the passing game. We've hit the run already in last week's episode. However, this week, we talk about how the cover three and Dan Quinn is really going to look at attacking the pass, especially Isaiah whenever it comes to 11 personnel. Yeah, 11 personnel and cover three, usually um, they, they kind of go head-to-head -head a little bit, right? They, they kind of they have their battles. Um, and I know as an offensive player, you want to be an 11 personnel when you're facing a cover three type defense. The reason why is because you have three guys that are responsible for covering 53 and a half yards, right? A lot of and space. that's not what you want to do. So a lot of times on the offensive side of the ball, we get excited because we can attack those seams. Mm -hmm. We can apply pressure to those defensive backs. And they, again, because they have the responsibility of covering so much ground, it puts them in a very, very, very peculiar uh, situation. So I get excited when I think about cover three. Um, but if you have a have a front four that can get after the ball and you have some guys that are long, lanky, and physical on the outside, you can still cause some problems. Oh, you could definitely cause some problems. And to me, the key is, like you mentioned, that defensive line getting after the quarterback. But the other two spots that need to be great against the pass in cover three is, like I mentioned earlier, that strong safety position. He has got to get his hands on that number two to help out that free safety, to help out that corner, and also your linebacker. Both of your linebackers are huge in the cover three because they cannot get sucked up versus the run. I know a lot of teams like to play action to run, but the linebackers, your Will and your Mike linebacker, their two responsibilities versus the pass or the hook zone or the hook zone uh, parts of the field. Yep. So if they get deep crosses from the other side, they got to be able to pick that up. And that's hard to do when you have a conflict of should I attack the run or yep. should I get back in my coverage in the pass? For me, I always say get back in your coverage pass because the run, you can always rally up and tackle the run. But if you let somebody get behind you, that's good night, Irene. That's touchdown right there. So Good. linebacker position, got to be huge. That work. All right, so what we're going to do here is show you guys 11 personnel. All right, or three, by, uh, three receivers, um, to one tight end, one running back. All right, and we're going to go after this cover three defense uh, that Dan Quinn is going to be presenting towards us this year. So let's see what we can make happen. I'm going to do a little disguise mm. because I know that's what Dan Quinn, I mean, he's, his bread and butter is the cover three, but they got to disguise it because you're going against, you know, Aaron Rodgers mm. and Tom Brady and mm. those guys coming up this year. you got to be able to confuse them a little bit sure. by time for your defensive line to get after these quarterbacks. So I'm going to do a little disguise, and I got both of my linebackers pressed up in the air gap showing that they're coming after you. They're coming after you no matter what. But the only problem with this is if it is a pass, you got to get out of there quick because you got to help your defense. Absolutely. So we're going to go ahead and play this out because we have three by one, okay, which is what causes issues typically for a single high defense. Obviously, I, w I normally wouldn't know this is single high, right? He's showing two high. So to me, it looks like cover two or cover four. But let's go ahead and play it out and see how things rotate. And there's the big time mm. issue right there. The big time issue in cover three is the seams. And I like what you did right there. You occupied mm -hmm. my linebacker, which is Vander Esch right here. You occupied him with Schultz coming down the field. See, he kind of yeah. got in his way. Yeah. And that opened up what we see right here, C.D. Lamb in the slot going down the field in the seam. It kind of opened him up right there. And as we see, uh, Lewis got a little bit of hands on him, but not as much as you would like. He still relatively had a free release, but with nobody there, in that gap, it was an easy pitch and catch, and C.D. Lamb was able to make it. I don't know what our whole safety Wilson was doing right there. He <laughs> needs a better break than that, or it's going to be a long yeah, afternoon bro. for the Cowboys. And we're not going to tell each other what we're doing. We're All just right. going to go ahead and roll with it. This right is where here. I work at best. That's the one right there. We'll see you don't want got. this, B.C. We, what you you don't got? want this, B.C. What you got going for me? We'll uh -huh. see what happens. Okay, okay, you stay with Get hands too high. on them, boys. Okay. You, see, you see what my boys are oh, doing on the outside. They coming up, pressing up. You want to press cool. They want all the smoke. They want all the smoke. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Okay, yep, right you there. You see where I'm at, though. You see where I'm at with. Give me that. Uh huh. Go make a play, Schultz. Oh, here we go. Go make a play, here Schultz. Here we go, man. That's what I'm talking about. Mr. Swiper at right. his finest, but you know what? <laughs> Let me Let's go ahead and break this I'm down. Break this break down this for down. you guys, okay? Now, as an offensive minded player, okay, obviously, um, we want to be in that three by one whenever we assume that they're going to end up in a single high, regardless if they show us too high or not, right? We want to we make sure that we give ourselves the best opportunity. So, I want to make sure that this guy right here, this tight end, gets across the field. I want to consume this far safety. Mm -hmm. When I consume that far safety, then I take him across the field. Now I'm coming to C.D. Lamb, and I want C.D. Lamb consuming this near safety. What does that do? That creates either C.D. is going to be open in this big gap right here, 
or Gallup's going to be one-on-one on the backside over there. And if that doesn't work, then I at least have Schultz man-to-man, either with that safety or a linebacker, which I think I like those odds. Yeah, it seemed like the odds worked in your favor today, and that's the danger of disguising a cover three, getting your linebackers up in there. If you see my corners on the outside as well, pressed up, giving that man blitz look, mm-hmm. that's the danger with this because the linebackers, they've got to be able to get out. they got it versus the pass. They have got to be able to get out of their stance and go ahead and hook up with their responsibilities. This right here, Jalen did, I believe, a good job of diagnosing it as pass, Seeing Schultz, you see where his eyes are, looking at Schultz, reading the way he's coming. He, he, read the, he ran the route for him. He yeah, ran yeah. the route for him. Schultz just made a heck of a play. And those, those are the opportunities you get where you just got to you got to tip your hat to yeah, that one. Yeah, you got to tip your hat to it. And, but, and, and as, a, as a quarterback, right, what I'm looking for right here, as I'm Dak, if I'm, if I'm playing Dak, right, I'm going to go ahead and go to number four right here if I can get to him. Uh, all right. As Dak drops back, I see these guys. These guys are pressed up in, in the gap. Those mm-hmm. guys, those linebackers, we got Vander Esch, we got Jalen Smith in the A gaps. I know right now that as, I know if Schultz is going across the field, right? Mm-hmm. He's going to run an angle, angle post over that way. Well, I know that those guys are going to have to get on their high horse and turn, turn and run. As soon as I see Jalen Smith turn his back, that is my indicator to release the ball. You guys see when I release the ball? As soon as Jalen opens up, as soon as he turns his back, I'm throwing it. Mm-hmm. Reason being because I know he's now out of position and he can't make this play with his back turned. So you're saying it's either pass interference or, 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 or catch. catch. Okay. Either way, either way. So you see his back's turned. There is no way he can make this play when I'm throwing it across the field. <laughs> his back is turned. It is a bad position for him, right? But obviously that's where I went with the ball, okay? But as I zoom out, look at what else I was talking about in terms of trying to attack these seams. So we have CD right here, man-to-man. He gets that inside release, but it gets taken away because Van der Esch gets on his mark. Right, yes. Van that's where right he's here. supposed to be the first. That's time. where he's supposed to be. But if Van Der Esch doesn't get to that point in his hook drop, CD Lamb is going to be wide open. Now, I would, if I didn't go to CD, I would come out here to Gallup. Right, Gallup right here, man to man. Diggs is doing a great job giving space, mm-hmm. not allowing him to get over the top. Because if he gets over the top, he is by himself, and that's going to be booty six naked. as well. That's so. A Overall, good job, but Jalen, can't turn your back on can't this. Can't turn your back. You got to make that play. And, that, and that's what makes a difference between good defenses and bad defenses. When you when it's your opportunity to make the play, you got to step up and make it. Dalton Schultz was able to do that. Ben, or uh, Jalen Smith, man, got to play man. better. Thanks, gotta I play better. It, man, it is definitely tough for a cover three defense to defend the pass. That's why opposing offensive players get so excited whenever they read that zone defense. But how can the Cowboys avoid getting bit by it? The pass this year. Yeah, in, in order to, to prevent getting got, really, or when you're running a single high defense, because as an offensive player, you get excited, right? And we talked about how we hit those seams. We talked about the three by ones. You have to have some guys in there to get physical, right? So the strong safety being down in the box, the linebacker being down in the box, you can't let that say that number two to number three guy uh, coming out, out of his route, you can't let him just get a free release. You got to get your hands on him. You have to disrupt him, throw off that timing. At that point, you account for your big boys up front to get home. Unfortunately for the Cowboys, they don't have a, a, a bruiser like Barry Church used mm. to be on that defensive side. That's why you liked running the cover three, I even, it. even against the pass a little bit. He is Barry Church. He's Isaiah Stanback. I'm Kyle Yeomans. That's going to do it for this edition of Hit Sticks.